Hey Vibe Bakers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm doing a vlogging style video. It is for my new week inside my Vibe Maker bucket list. I told you guys I really wanted to have fun with these videos and just bring you along for the journey. So I'm actually going to be documenting this week inside my Vibe Maker bucket list. Um, when you're seeing this, it'll be towards the, hopefully the end of this week and everything that I've accomplished. I'm going to put all the clips together, but I'm filming the intro today because today is January 27th and I have my Vibe Maker bucket list here. As um, you guys saw, you already saw the video for the past two weeks. I did a recap for that, recap three and recap four. This video will be for week um, five. And this week in my Vibe Maker bucket list, I have this half of it um, planned out already. I haven't planned out the rest of the week. Like I said, today is January 27th and we are working on a digital detox for this week's bucket list. Um, as you all know, I started social media, what was it, like October of 2018, and all I have in regards to social media is Instagram, and it's just my LB Novelties account. I do not have a personal social media account. Um, I also have my YouTube channel. But I do keep myself pretty active in regards to Instagram with LB Novelties and also um, over at YouTube. So I figured I'd give this week a try and do a digital detox where I don't get to comment with you vibe makers. I don't get to post up on stories. I have been posting up on Instagram stories, whether it's me talking to you guys or just anything I want to share with you pretty much every day since last year. <laughs> so it's going to be so weird not to do it for a full day. And how I decided to break it down is um, I already made a kind of a schedule. So for my bucket list this week, again, is to practice uh, digital detox. And I'm going to break it down th um, through the week with today the, on Monday, I am going to do a full hour of no social media whatsoever. So no replying to comments, no posting, no seeing anybody's stories, no doing nothing with it. And um, to do that, I'm putting my phone away, my tablets away. And I'm just going to come over here and just play with my planner, keep myself entertained with some music, relax, maybe read, or maybe actually clean my makeup space because I said I was going to do it the other day and I kind of fell behind. But I'm actually saving that for tomorrow because tomorrow on Tuesday is the big day. So how I'm breaking it down is Monday I'm going to do one, one hour of digital detox and Tuesday is a full day of digital detox, no YouTube no social media, no Instagram, none of that. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn off notifications on my phone. <laughs> and even if I see the notifications pop up, I'm not gonna go at all um, to my Instagram page or anything. So it's gonna be fun to have a full day of 24 hours of digital detox. And I think it's really good. Um, last week I, um, I said on my Instagram stories, I took a little bit of a break of filming too much and doing a lot, just kind of just slowed it down. I just filmed one video and then I was just posting content as I went. So this week I figured I want to carry through having that kind of creative, um, flow come about because when I took a break, I felt like I just felt super creative. Plus I think it's really, um, fun to challenge myself and it's something that I'm like, okay, I mean, I literally didn't have social media prior to starting Instagram. I had Facebook t what, almost 10, 11 years ago. So I'll be fine, but <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, I just like connecting with my bike makers on Instagram. I really do. I enjoy it. I like to um, talk to them and comment on their stuff and share their content. So it's going to be funny not to be there for a full day and I won't be posting either tomorrow because I'm not going to be on Instagram. So it's going to be a day in social media planning that is going to be empty. So that's fun too. Um, for the third day, which is Wednesday, because that's uh, as far as I got into planning, I have um, that I will read a book um, for a full hour, no electronics. So I really have been enjoying reading and um, what I've been doing is just reading a couple of minutes a day, a couple of pages a day, and that's helped me to finish one book and I'm halfway through another, but I do want to catch up on reading. Maybe I want to see if I can read a full hour and see what I get out of it. I just have to figure out in regards to notes because I use a reading planner and I just fill out notes in my horizontal planner. So I might just add in a extra um, classic size filler sheet in there just to make up for all the notes I'll take um, when reading for a full hour. So that's what I have for now. And then I'll insert clips here as we go throughout the week and then recap with you how it felt to have uh, the digital detox. And again, I just love having these videos where it's just kind of recapping 
the week, and then also just inserting here information of what we're doing. So today is um, one hour no Instagram, so I'm about to start that. I figure I'd um, just work on some planner spreads and relax. I'm going to put some music on. And um, tomorrow I have intended, I want to hopefully go for a hike. I will be filming tomorrow, but I won't be at all on any social media outlet or YouTube channel or nothing of that. Um, I'm just going to film and then uh, go from there. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my bike maker bucket list. And I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. Um, it was so much fun to um, create a sticker sheet through uh, Procreate. So I don't know. I just have fun here. And it's just, it feels like I'm connecting with you guys just like I do on my Instagram stories. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this, getting inspired. I really have been enjoying this. And um, this will be the last bucket list item for January and then we're going into February and I gotta think of some bucket list items to uh, do that. Maybe I'll just do that right now too, maybe some brainstorming. So today is digital detox day, which means no social media, no YouTube um, whatsoever. So, and I mean like you, my own YouTube channel. People watch YouTube channels, I just can't go and comment or anything. So it's basically me detoxing from LV novelties. Um, so it is 2.47. I did a lot of productive things this morning. I woke up, I edited a video, and I got that all situated. I filmed three videos. I started my laundry, and then I did a little cleaning the house. I'm going to go back and finish um, cleaning up my makeup space because that's one of the things I want to get done today. But for today's Digital Detox Unplugged Today um, sticker, it had the option of going hiking and I was like, yes to that because I love hiking. So I'm back at North Mountain. I'm going to go up for a hike and just get some fresh air, relax. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been hiking and um, I need it for my soul. It really made me happy when I was doing it. So since today's Digital Detox Day and all week is Digital Detox, I have really been enjoying it. Yesterday, I just sat and watched some um, TV and my, well, my contour app. On my in my bedroom and I normally don't watch TV but I was like you know what we're just relaxing no social media so um, and then I also did some meditating and just read so other than that today is full 24 hours so at midnight I'm good to go back and check on my vibe makers I do miss my vibe makers I miss commenting on their content and sharing their awesome stuff and I also miss just connecting with them so that's the one thing I do miss of not be on Instagram is just connecting with my vibe makers because that's honestly why I go on social media is to share positivity, check up on my vibe makers, um, cheer them on. So it's okay to have a little break once in a while and I'm excited for some hiking. So let's go to it. <laughs> to the top I'm going back down and I'm happy I did my digital detox of going hiking like I said honestly to me coming out amongst nature just being able to be out here getting fresh air is so worth it it's so good for my soul and I'm happy I came back out so make sure you guys do something like I've said multiple times that makes you happy I enjoy this and it's good for my lungs too <laughs> Good morning, my bankers. Today is Jan or no, actually it's February first. Um, it's Saturday, and part of the Vibe Maker bucket list today: go take a hike with Chance. We're gonna do a little digital detox, and also check off just being out in nature amongst you know beautiful scenery. And um, we just put some breakfast to be made in our crock pot. We're making a cinnamon casserole. I'm gonna head up to go hiking and then come back and eat breakfast. And um, our errands today are just to get everything set up for a Super Bowl. Last night I stayed up and read 45 minutes. Um, and then I also um, cleaned my whole makeup space. These were things that I had set in videos. I'm not going to get done. I'm going to get done. But then, you know, life got caught up and being busy and trying to check off everything on my to-do list. But yesterday was a really good day for me to do my digital detox. I did three hours of digital detox. Um, I had a great day. Um, or early dinner with Chance yesterday. I mean, literally, like the space got all cleaned up here in my room. I'm so proud of me for doing that. And I woke up, you know, feeling like really great. I'm still, you know, doing what I need to post and comment a few times, but also 
focusing on doing things that are important to me in my own personal life. So I think from this week, what I've really learned is finding the balance. And um, I think it's really good for me because I love to um, be a hustler and I love to be motivated and be doing a lot multitasking, which I'm really good at multitasking. But, you know, um, I think I was just really focused on growing LB Novelties that some of my other things were being put in the back burner. So now I'm finding the balance with LB Novelty still being a, an important factor in my life because it makes my heart happy and it's a, a, a project and um, part of me that makes me happy. So I think this is a really good week where I'm finding balance of, you know, just working everything in my life. And I um, just wanted to update you guys with that because you know I'm always doing my recap videos for this um, Buy Maker Bucket List. So with that, I'm going to get ready to go hiking and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. So that was the recap for Digital Detox Week. As you guys saw all the clips, I did a lot this past week and I'm so happy I actually decided to do Digital Detox for my Vibe Maker bucket list. I was able to accomplish so much and just fill out my spread with great memories. I really enjoyed purchasing the sticker in Sedona um, and placing it in my spread because it reminded me of just living life spur of the moment and enjoying it as we can sometimes as planners we like to plan so much in advance um, that sometimes we forget about that spontaneity and just enjoying life and sometimes just last minute things happen and since i was doing a digital detox i felt relaxed enough to be like you know what yeah let's go and do a last minute road trip it's my time to zen out and relax so um that's what i really enjoyed from my sedona trip with my parents and chance we just went up for a few hours was were amongst nature i mean it's seriously one of the most beautiful places that i've been to so if you're ever in the arizona area i definitely recommend checking out sedona it is such a peaceful zen place and it's just stunning um, and I also truly enjoyed hiking again I hadn't been hiking in a few weeks so going back on Tuesday and um, just going back up there was a little bit of a struggle this time around but then once I went again with Chance on Saturday I had a blast and uh, I even saw a little um, chickmunk out there I think it was a chickmunk or a squirrel Chance says it was a chickmunk but um, I just, it's just so nice to be amongst nature. I think that's one of the qualities that I really do enjoy about doing things like this is going out in nature, enjoying it, and breathing in some fresh air. Because sometimes when we have all this digital things around us, we forget that there is so much beautiful um, things to be done outside in nature. Um, so definitely get out there and do things. Um, don't allow a screen to control the ability to see the beautiful things around you. Now, for me, what I learned from this week is I really honestly don't have, like I've said before, I only have my social media accounts for LB Novelties. But what I learned out of it is um, a balance because I was, you know, starting LB Novelties last year and I really was focusing so much in it. And I still am, but it is a nice balance that I found because it was like the first week where I didn't really like post on stories or I didn't post anything on Instagram or I wasn't commenting and that was very rare for me because I like to be constantly connected with my vibe makers but it was kind of a good lesson for me because I saw you know what it's okay you can take a day off and everything's gonna be fine and you can come back to it and still keep creating um and I love to create, I love to work, I love it. It makes me happy, but it's also nice to have that balance of like, okay, let's shut it off for a little bit and concentrate on other elements in your life. Um, so I got a lot of things done. I mean, I literally got so much done this week that I was so happy that I checked off on like my little master list. I got a lot checked off. Um, I cleaned my bedding, I cleaned my makeup space, my whole room got cleaned up. Um, I did laundry, I got my hair trimmed. So if you notice, the hair is a little bit shorter from the first clip. Um, so I went and took myself to get a hair trim. Um, I washed my car, which 
Y'all, like I hadn't washed my car in over two months, like no joke, it was dirty. Um, it just, I was always like, oh, I'll do it one day, I'll do it one day. And that's the one thing I learned is, um, it's kind of like I did a, like a little learning lesson in regards to the bucket list of not putting everything off because I I am concentrating on so much on one thing. It's about finding the balance. And um, I really did find a lot of balance and that's what I wrote here. I found so much peace of mind and soul, discovering balance of work and personal life. Because to me, albinolities, yes, um, I am promoting positive vibes and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's still work. I still have to dedicate a lot of hours to it and um, creating content and constantly checking on things. So it was nice to kind of have that like balance of like, okay, it's okay to take a few hours off and relax. It's not always doing everything in regards to LB novelties. The one thing I will say, I missed my bite makers. I missed connecting with them. So that one day I was like, oh, miss them. So that's the one thing I was like, I did miss. Um, other than that, not much, but yeah, I'm just connecting with you guys. And um, I also read a lot this week. I read 45 minutes on what the 31st, which was Friday. And then I read 45 minutes during my road trip. So I took a book with me and I even took a spread to work on. I planned in the car. So it was just nice to just relax and do some like normal paperwork stuff. I wasn't on the, I wasn't on the uh, uh, social media aspect or even watching something on my iPad. So it was nice, uh, but I think it was a really great week. I will say, if you are thinking about doing a digital detox, but you're thinking like, should I do it? Is it gonna be okay? Like, I say yes. I think it's really important to take that time off and kind of just work on things that you've been wanting to do, but you've been putting aside because you're you know, checking your screen or constantly on, on your iPad or whatever. I say yes to taking a digital detox. Um, it's really good for your soul too and I'm happy I did it and from it I learned that I will be doing it um, throughout the weeks I might take like a half day off from social media and again like I only have LB novelties I don't do any social media in regards to my own personal life so it's not like it's super hard for me but I do like to be you know in constant connection with my bite makers so it's just trying to find a balance there too because um I do want to remain connected with them, but I also need to have space for me and time for me. So it's just a matter of figuring out the balance, but I feel like this week was good for that. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this recap and um, stay tuned for next week's Vibe Maker bucket list. I am working on it as we speak. Um, it's definitely something that I'm kind of nervous about, but excited to do. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the whole journey of the Vibe Maker bucket list planner. If you don't know what it's about, I do have a video up explaining what it is and I have recaps for each week so we just recapped week five stay tuned for week six coming next week once I complete it and film the video but it is a project that is dear and near to my heart I am truly enjoying it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it too don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that little notification bell to let you know when I've posted up my most recent video and as always guys peace and love mm -hmm.